Okay, this is my Fender Champion 110, and it's got two issues. The input jack here is kind of busted off, so the jack doesn't fit in very well. It's got to be replaced, and I've got some stereo ones that I think will probably do, but I'll check in a minute. The other thing that's a bit odd is that this volume here kind of doesn't do much. It, it goes from, like, very little to super loud in, you know, that much of a turn. I don't know if that's a characteristic, um, so I might check the resistance of this, but... I think I've got to re remove these screws at the top here. Uh, it's powered off, of course. I guess, does it all come out in one unit? It might, let's find out. I'll start by taking these four off here and see if that's enough to slide it out. Oh yeah, the other mod I did with this, I put a little cliff jack on here. So when I plug into there, the amplifier output goes to an external speaker. So, is that what I did or was it all the way around? That, so that's the sorry if you want to go to an external speaker you plug in there you can plug it in so that detaches the speaker and goes off to another one so what did that one do it goes to an external speaker uh oh yeah 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 so if you plug into there you can go to an external speaker and this is not used this one is the opposite if you plug in here this speaker gets used and it detaches the amp yeah um so it was a a, a mod i made some time ago uh, that didn't affect the volume Okay, let's get on with this thing. Actually, before I go much further, I need one of these on my homemade lagers. That'll clear quite nicely and make the job go a bit quicker. Okay, so I undid these four screws. I put them in a captive pile and it just dropped out, okay? So let's put the screwdriver up there. Let's have a quick look. Uh, careful, I don't want to spill my beer. Uh, I did turn this off a while ago, um, but you still need to be careful about voltage in these things, yeah? So one hand rule and try to touch things gently. Hang on. I can't get it out. Why not? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. So it all comes out in one piece, apart from the fact that it's getting stuck in the cabinet. Let me just pause. Okay, so it's come out, but you see that what's happened here is the wire has come off in here, and it looks like the yellow one is going to the right as I look at it and the red one's going to the left so what I'll do is I'll unplug that now to make it easy to remove okay so it's all out we just got the Celestian speaker in there now and that white stuff is um, hopefully it's not rat poo but rat poo is normally brown okay so that's come out okay uh, let's have a look at the input it's there so oh I see so it's one of these things that's soldered to the board that's a slight pain because the ones I've got are like the standard guitar jacks. So I might have to extend some wires out from that. Um, what I'll do is I've got to remove these screws here by the looks of it carefully. But then, then I've got the nightmare of having to take all this gubbins off. Okay, it looks like I've got no choice. But these um, have got to be unscrewed, unbolted. I think I remember rightly that kind of pushes out the power lead. Um, then I've got to undo the PCB carefully. I might as well check the caps whilst I'm in here. But they look alright from here. Um, yeah, that's what have got to happen. All these um, bolts will have to come off. And um, these things, what's underneath them? Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, there is. No, there's nothing. Oh, yeah, right, there's that underneath. I don't know what that is. That's got to come off. All right, let me get on with that. One thing to notice, these edges are quite sharp. So I think I'm going to run a file along there um, because I want to avoid cutting myself. Okay, so just a little bit of draw filing along there has made that pretty good. I don't think I'm likely to cut myself now, he said. So now I've got to get these screws out here. Uh, how many? One, two. There's a heat sink as well, but that should stay on. One, two, three and a bit. Let's get on with that. So in my case, a 14 mil socket set took that off one of these bike spanners, but it's probably uh, American design, so it's probably uh, Imperial rather than metric, but that worked. Now, that's off there. Have I missed one? Oh, there's something underneath there. Okay, looks to me like those screws have got to come off there. That's the transformer there. Let's see if those screws is enough to come out or if a transformer has to come off as well. Hang on. Okay, so the flathead took that off and there was an aluminum block underneath it. And now we're just left with getting this power 
socket out, which I think normally one dips a little screwdriver like that in. It messes with it, but this might be too tricky. I'll give that a go off camera, hang on. I think the path of least resistance is to take these spade connectors off. I'm pretty colorblind, but I think that top one is black. And that one is some... Let me get closer through this view. For... I think that looks purple. I mean, underneath it, I have, I have to swear, I'd say it's brown and blue. So it looks like, f from the top, black, purple, and underneath, blue, brown. But I'll take a picture of that. It's anyone going to get that right. Anyway, okay, I'll get that off. Okay, I just had to pry in there a little bit. And I think now I can see that clearly. There is a purple, there is a blue, there is a brown, there is a black. And we got the video earlier of the order. So hopefully this board... Will come out now and it does uh, being careful one hand as I say that's so one video and with the other hand because you don't want to get a shock it can be nasty uh, let me pause and try and tease that out Hang on. it might be this wires in the way not certain that's gonna focus I'll have to get a picture of that to see what the part number is I'll do that in a minute Hang on. I'll do it there I think that took a camera I'll zoom that in later let me see if I can desolder this part and get a new one. Okay, so my tool of choice is one of these Japanese, as recommended on, engineer solder sucker. And it is very good, actually. I know people complain about it. Well, fine, that's good for you. This worked for me, yeah? Uh, I got one of these um, solder stations. 300 degrees was enough, and it's a big, thick chisel blade. Put a bit more flux on it. A little bit of flux on it. I'm assuming this is good old Mexican... Uh, lead solder and it came off quite cleanly so what I'm going to do is see if I can find out what this part is get another one uh, and I was going to measure the uh, resistance on this pot because it seems to be a bit crazy so give me a second I'm going to get my meter okay just measuring the resistance across here really hard to show you on camera it's about 37 K across the terminals and it goes up to about 31 in the sweep in honestly it doesn't seem to like suddenly jump it it feels fairly linear to me but something later on in the circuit is causing it to go really loud very quickly so who knows if it's this diode in here or anything i'll have to even get a circuit diagram but at the minute i'll have to get one of those parts on order put it in at least then it will be consistent now this solid state amp a lot of people complain about a solid state i have a valve amp and they're beautiful yeah this thing here I don't know how many watts it's supposed to be, but it's certainly bleeding loud. If I stick it, the output, like I showed you, so this head here can control, actually the standard one, the head can control the speaker. Um, that goes into my 4x10 uh, 400 watt base cabinet. It's bloody awesome, yeah? The, the, the boom out of this thing is incredible, yeah? So I don't think I'm going to be buying a, a, a large... Um, amp head at the minute i think i'll just be using this i'll have to do some math to work out i'm not causing any problem like overcurrenting it but hell it sounds good and loud enough for me yeah much louder than the orange um 50 watt amp so yeah that's what i'll be doing and there's the reverb tank in there it's okay i mean the digital reverb tank in the laney uh, vamp valve amp is beautiful yeah um this is okay uh, but yeah i've got to get one of these pots or stick a about a 31k ohm on there well i say that I, I might not even replace it because to me it's doing the right thing yeah i've got to measure this for comparison maybe it's something further back in the circuit that's causing the problem i'll trace it anyway i'll trace it out anyway, enough for now I'll, I'll get on with this and i'll fix this later but it's just a tear down of a champion 110 amp um, and i'll see if i can find a spare part and post it thanks for watching Bye bye